to League One indeed, where we already knew that Brighton were going up as champions. The question is, who will be joining them by finishing second? Well, it's either Southampton or Huddersfield, who've been going along neck and neck for some time now. Crucially, Saints have got that game in hand, of course. On Saturday, Southampton were in West London to take on Brentford. As for Huddersfield, they were at Brighton for the Champions' last ever game at the Withdean. No electronic scoreboard in with Dean's humble surroundings. The ground Brighton's fans are delighted to say goodbye to after 12 years, even if it has seen some excellent seasons. Huddersfield applauded the champions onto the pitch, then set about their task with gusto. Benikafobi scoring inside the first eight minutes, with the Terriers determined to keep snapping at Southampton's heels in the chase for the second automatic promotion spot. Saints inflicted Albion's first home league defeat of a season last week. Straight from the restart, Ashley Barnes was thwarted by Ian Bennett as the Seagulls showed they had no intention of suffering another setback. Soon after, Chris Wood went even closer. So Huddersfield fortunate to be in front at half-time and just two minutes after the teams came back from the break, Lee Poutier's foul on Elliot Bennett handed Brighton their best chance yet to equalise. Ashley Barnes failed to put away the penalty, but got lucky with the rebound. All the home side's good work was undone, though, just past the hour mark, when Inigo Calderon's mistake presented a phobie with his second of the match. Huddersfield's top two challenge up and running again, only for Albion sub Matt Sparrow to charge through the centre and slot home another equaliser. The drama continued right to the finish. The last goal ever scored at With Dean could be one Huddersfield will always remember. There was a weary look to the champions defending as Danny Ward made himself just enough space to fire a last-minute winner and make sure Southampton still can't relax. We've got to give full credit to Southampton, they've done a fantastic run themselves. Um, but we're giving them something to think about, so that's the most important thing. We, we've just got to try and keep winning. We're on an amazing run, certainly away from home. I think we've won our last six games on the road now, maybe more than that, I think seven. So we're going well, but we're, we're pleased with the way that we're playing. Um, and I think today was a tough game for us.